everyone, my name is Kristen Hayes and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And today I'm going to show you how to make this non-traditional looking sunflower thank you card. What I tried to do is use mostly products that will be carrying over into the um, annual 2022-2023 annual catalog. Um, so you didn't have to worry about things running out of stock. The exception is this pretty little piece of DSP. Um, that's sold in the six by six packs, but they will be carrying a new pattern set of each color family in the new catalog. So let's get started. The base is a piece of flirty flamingo and it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter. Then I have a piece of very vanilla and this is cut at five and a quarter by four. I have a piece of the craft sheets. Now this was in the holiday catalog, but it is carrying over into the new annual catalog. So I don't know if it's available right this minute, but it will be again if, if the number doesn't come up for you. And I'll have all the numbers linked down below if you need them. And this is, um, I use the Hive embossing folder. And this was in the spring catalog and it is carrying over which is great. I usually use this side of it, but either side works. And again, this is the piece that is not is retiring. It is still available today, but um, when I post this, I'm not sure. So we're gonna start and just put some adhesive on the back of this strip. And I'm gonna adhere it to this side, but do it whichever side you want to be up. And then we're just going to adhere this to the very vanilla. I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet. I was crafting with my mom and my aunt and some friends a couple weekends ago, and they'd never seen this sheet before. So what this does is I use it when I need to get really close to an edge. And see, this the adhesive doesn't really stick to it at all. So you save your workspace from getting all gunked up. And this embossing folder, I do like to put the adhesive all the way around so that um, it doesn't curl up on me. If you want to go for the look that it curls up, because sometimes I know I, I do, um, then obviously you wouldn't need that sheet or to get it all the way to the edges. So then we're gonna just place it, it's got a lot of adhesive on it, so be careful and spread that out and then we can just attach that to the base all right there we go and now we're going to work on our flower now to save you some time i colored in most of it but we'll do the rest of it together and i'll show you what i did to color it in i'm using my stamping blends and i'm using the dark flirty flamingo first and i'm using the finer tip and all i do is i'm gonna go and outline each flower and to be honest with you i'm not overly careful because we're going to blend the colors together and it'll all look fine in the end i just want to be careful on the edges outside edges okay so then what i'm going to do to add some brightness is to come in with the dark uh the light melamambo rather and I'm just gonna go over the inside where these lines are a little bit. Alrighty. And then finally, I'm gonna come in with the brush tip of the light flirty flamingo and just blend that all together. Now this sunflower is out of the Celebrating Sunflower stamp set. It's been around for a little while, but I haven't used it in a little bit and I, I just love it. So this is the stamp set. And like I said, I did already cut this out and I would recommend before you do your coloring, cut it out because <laughs> it comes with dyes. And the first time I was making this card, I cut it out with the detail dye. 
which doesn't work when you want to color it in. So make sure you use the outline if you're going to do that. And then I did cut out some of those leaf pieces as well in very vanilla. All right, and so we just need to finish the center of this sunflower. So what I'm going to use, this is part of the blends that came out in the skin tones and some of them are not available right now but they are all carrying over into the annual catalog they came out in pairs and in um a whole set of the flesh tones and all i'm doing is i'm taking this one it's the su 200 and i'm just going to make some rings and outline here around the base of these flower petals and then i'm going to come in with this is just the bronze marker and fill that in just like that so now we can put the rest of our card together oh we need to stamp our sentiment so I have a piece of very vanilla, three and a half by five and a half. And you know what? I don't think I gave you the measurements on this piece. This was five and a quarter by a half of an inch. So I'm going to use early espresso. Let's push those aside. And I've got my sentiment all ready on my block. And I'm just going to go to the left a little bit on this piece. There we go. And then I'm gonna use a banner punch. It's called the Banner Pick-A-Punch. Now these are have grooves in them for a half inch, three quarters of an inch, and one inch. And my piece is five eighths. So what I do is I want this punch, I'm gonna flip it around and flip it to the writing side just to make sure I'm not gonna go over what I've already stamped. And I'm just gonna play with it to get it lined up properly. Let's see if I move it a little. Um, I want to go down with just a tad here. Let's see. That looks all right, right? There we go. And there you have your banner on the end of your sentiment. So to put this together, we're going to use some dimensionals. Whoops, I'm grabbing the card that's already done. So let's grab the flower first. Alrighty, I think three should do it. I'm gonna, let's see which way I want this to go. Maybe we'll, yeah, I like this way. So we're just gonna stick that on there. Now for the sentiment, I'm gonna put a dimensional on the end with the banner and some adhesive on that side and I'm just going to put it right here then I want to put in these leaves or stalks or whatever I just want to see how they go okay so we're going to use a glue dot whoops and I'm just going to pick it up like that. And then I'm just going to feed it under to where I want it. And give it a press so the glue dot will hold down underneath. And then we'll do, let me take a peek at this other one first before I, I had to cut it. But it depends on where your, yeah, on where your dimensionals are on the back. So let's just cut off part of that and then we'll I just don't want it sticking out over the top of the card because then it gets messed up in your envelope there we go that works and to finish it off we're going to use some of these brushed metallic adhesive dots and again these will be in the new annual catalog as well I'm just going to add some detailing. I'm taking the ones, maybe they're copper, but they look a little pink to me. Maybe a rose gold. And 
I'm just kind of, I always like to do my elements in odd numbers. And there we go, that's all there is to it. So here's the one we made, and here is our original. All of my links, my social links, and the links to all the products will be listed down below. Thank you so much for watching.